Welcome to Monroe, Louisiana, Malone Stadium, home to the ULM Warhawks, and fans have been getting ready for this one pretty much all week. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on a team from the Sun Belt, the UL Monroe Warhawks. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Alabama about to kick off to get things started. He'll start the return inside his five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Getting set for first down. He's looking to throw it. Buys a little time with his feet. He looks that one in nicely. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And the Warhawks moving quickly to the line. And it's so hard to be on the run and make an accurate throw. It's just very tough. Very few people can do it. I mean, again, we see the fronts and we see the highlights all the time, but that's a tough thing to do. He made it look pretty easy. And here comes the offense on second down. To the air. It's Herring. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Couldn't find his man last time. That leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the right. And it's incomplete on third down. They told us they were going to be aggressive no matter where they were on the field. Didn't take long to prove it. Going for it on fourth down in their first drive. Fires to the right. He's got it and they convert. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. They're showing you their intentions early in the game. It's fourth down, you're in your own end. We're going to be aggressive, and we're not just going to do this early. We're going to do this all game long. Awesome execution on a critical day. They'll line up for a second down play. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out, but when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Buys a little time. Makes the grab on the shuffle. Trying to pick up the first out of the backfield. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires downfield. Finds his man, and they convert. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Now he's going to break the pocket. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Ready. Starting off this quarter close enough to smell the goal line. Easy. Back to pass. It's Harry. 
He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Warhawks. They'll line up to go for two. They'll go to the air. Quarterback adapting. And it's caught, and they have an 8 nothing lead. I love the aggressive play calling here on this opening drive. All the way down the field, scoring the touchdown, then going for it for two points. That is a statement. On the move from inside is five. Here comes the offense on first down. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. On the run, fires downfield. Makes the grab. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Big play out of the gate to start this drive, and here they come again. They'll throw it on first down. Keeping his eyes downfield, rolling left. The throw. Laundry down on the field as the pass is incomplete, but let's see what the penalty is. You can't do that. An illegal forward pass will cost the offense five yards. Wideouts all wadded up in a bunch. On second down, they'll take to the air. Throws to the wideout. And it's picked off. Taking it the other way. He's at the 40. QB never saw the defender. He's staring his receiver down, telegraphing his throw, and a DB jumped all over that. Excellent field position here for the offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. The Warhawks headed quickly to the line. To throw, it's Herrick. Extending the play. They get to him as he throws. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Fires to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. And he makes a completion there. Set up and in business at the 20. And the Warhawks have it with a first and 10. He's going to pass. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket. Nothing's open. And he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. I think the great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, UL Monroe. It's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. They already have the lead, and they apparently want more here in the first half going for the onside kick. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick, and they do. Here comes that Alabama offense. They're already in great field goal position here. Going for it all. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Bama! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. So they got the touchdown now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. Here he comes from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. First down here for the offense. Oh, he 
tosses it back. Unloads it downfield. And it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Looking to throw. It's Herring. Looking for an open area to his left. He's going to take off. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. It's a flea flicker. They're bringing heat. Pressure is all over him, and he can't get it off. Down he goes, and that'll bring us to the end of the first half. So that's going to do it here in the first half. Stay tuned for the halftime break. They want to get the ball back right now, lining up for an onside kick to start the second half. They're on it, and they get it back for another drive. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're, you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection, that has to be something they were talking about here at halftime. 100%. Just, you, you can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football, but if you keep hitting the quarterback enough, man, they'll start to see ghosts, they'll panic, and they'll make some of those mistakes. And with not much doing downfield, he found his parents open in the stands and threw it to him. Good decision by the QB. You're outside the pocket. You're trying to find an open target. No one's open. Throw it away and live to play another day. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. Trying to escape and get it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The Warhawks want to move quickly. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. To the air. It's Herring. Got out of trouble and throws. Quickly to the tight end. Tackled, but he has a first down. And the Warhawks come to the line with a new set of downs. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. But a little time, lets it go. Finds his man, it's Bailey. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business. First and goal. Looking to throw. Dances away from the pressure, going to his left. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. And the defense stopped him again on second and goal. The give is to Smith. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. After getting absolutely nowhere on second down, they'll try it again on third and goal. Trying to barge their way in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Warhawks! The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead. Now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The tied offense rolls onto the field. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. you got to bow up again and go back to what was working. A third down play to 
get the quarter started. To the air, it's Milrow. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls incomplete. A really nice run and gain. And he gets down to avoid taking punishment. Quick timeout call by the offense timeout. after the play, timeout. trying to preserve every minute possible. The analytics nerds say the goal was at least four yards on first and ten. He wants to throw. He wants a big play here late. And that pass is intercepted. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. 